Hi my friends, let's model the part number 55 gear shift plate from my collection of uh, 100 parts. A picture with this part is here, a part with a plate and some uh, stepping extrusion for uh, shifting the speed at uh, locomotive. This is where this part was uh, used. The drawing is this, where you see uh, that uh, extrusions placed on a, a round sector. It uh, seems to be interesting. So let's start. We start with the plate of 180 on uh, 250 55 rectangle 250 tab 180 same vertical of this midpoint with the center point and 55 distance here. Good. The thickness is 20 and uh, round 12 at the corner. Extrude twenty around twelve corners, twelve of the plate. Okay, now there is an extrusion here, this one, of uh, diameter 60 and height 36 from the base. Circle, diameter 60, extrude, thirty six minus twenty to be from the base. Then I'll draw this uh, sector with radius one hundred one hundred and twenty and angles uh, twelve here and twenty eight till this one, then uh, 24. Good. This is the plane. F7 to see the projection of uh, the center. And now arc from about here to about here line construction line to the center to apply uh, angles and also project x axis yes Twelve is this angle, and then we draw the other sector of circle with a radius of one hundred and twenty. and the other 100. 
line to connect the ends and we draw another line here and I want to apply circular pattern for this segment to multiply it in one two three four five equal angles of four of uh, 28 degrees okay circular this about this axis five and 28 multiplied by four multiplied by four okay the remaining angle is 24. Good. There is one dimension missing and I suppose that this is not collinear, but let's see. Yes, I, I suppose these two are not collinear now they are and this is fully constrained f9 okay this is a, a sketch which will be used more than once the first extrusion is 50 next is 40 next is 30 20 and 10 yes and then back to 50 oh this is very interesting now I change the view to see all these sectors and I apply extrude for the first uh, segment of this sector 50 is this yes plus the next is 40 plus next is 30 plus 20 plus 10 And the last is again 50. That's all. Now we have to apply these holes, uh, four holes of 12 with a depth of 15 and a chamfer of one at 45. Let's create this. They are placed in the middle of every sector. One, two, three, four. We create a sketch on this face. F7 to see the face. Line from the center point to the midpoint of this external uh, segment of arc the other is uh, with this center the other element to place a point from the midpoint to the midpoint yes and now the point finish sketch hole the placement is okay 12 with 15 just what we want okay the other is uh, 
the same construction. Green, green point, green point, green point. Then this point, finish sketch, hole, okay. No problem, we are sure what happens here. Next one, line, green, again green, arc, green, from green to green, point. This point, finish sketch, hole, okay. And the last is this one. F7 now to see the center point or the projection of the sec uh, center point again green to green this is green and an arc like before from this midpoint to this midpoint. Point again, finish sketch, hole, and OK. Good. Now you see there are some uh, boss. This is a boss, yes? an extrusion a small extrusion on a plate boss the radius is uh, the radius of the corner and the height is two let's place this and then four holes all of also 14 a uh, 20 like here yes but through let's create all these elements I was wrong, not only holes, but also for extrusions. Circle at every corner, and extrusion on two millimeters two and now holes on each but through 12 millimeters through the first is on this face with this center this face with this center, this face with this center, this face with this center. Okay. The last, I suppose this is the last, is this hole, counterbore of 48, with a counterbore of 64, depth 4 we create here a projection projection of this circle hole counter bar placed here This dimension is not 12, but 48, tab, all, tab, 64, tab, 4. That's all.
okay you see the situation we don't forget the chamfers of one at 45 to be applied on these holes okay now let's apply steel cast all over steel cast and some faces to be machined also these holes and on the back other faces polished this is the part thanks for watching bye bye